Good morning, everyone. This is Monday. <laughs> I think the 26th, but I'm not positive. Um, Friday, I get my checks. So I'll get both of them Friday, being that the third is on a Sunday, I believe. So, I will be leaving Sunday. Uh, look what I had to do. See that? It's a real light blanket. But I had, oh, sorry for the mess. <laughs> I had to, uh, oh my goodness, put that there because there's a breeze that comes in. And the wind right now is 14 miles an hour from what the Google Assistant told me. And uh, temp is 55. Did I say that? supposed to go up to 67, but it's supposed to be cloudy. So, you know, I could see the sun wants to come out. I don't know if you can see that way, but see the sun is wanting to come out. But will it? I don't know. I have got to run into Port Lavaca today. And uh, there's a couple of things I got to get done. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm half drinking the coffee off on myself and forgot you all. No way will I do that. But, you know, I was thinking a lot about different survival things that we as nomads, no matter what type of nomads we are, really should think about or do. And I think number one is always have a way to communicate with somebody. Always find a way to communicate. Because that's very important if anything happens that at least somebody else knows the mosquitoes. Somebody else knows where you're at. So if they don't hear from you for a while they'll at least know what your last location was. Uh, I think, you know, like, put on your cell phone, put the contact person at the very top so that if anything does happen, they can go on your cell phone and they can see who to contact. Um, and another thing that I think about a lot is, you know, the right clothing it depends where we're going, where we're going to spend, like, summer at or winter at. <clears throat> and the way the weather is, you may be wearing shorts in the morning and may be wearing long johns in the afternoon because it, 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 it's so flexible right now, especially in the wintertime. Uh, and then I started thinking, of, because I drive this, you have to learn how your vehicle runs, how it functions. You've got to make sure that you've got oil in it, that the transmission fluid is there, that your tires are okay. You have to make sure that everything on your vehicle is running correctly because a breakdown can happen anywhere. On the highway, in the forest, which, you know, almost on the highway, at least you got people going by. But in the forest, uh, I learned a long time ago through Geico that if you call um, roadside assistant, they don't go to certain areas. They won't go to them. So, hello, make sure, make sure you... Uh, don't get stuck somewhere because you have not taken care of your vehicle as you should. When I get to uh, Louisiana, I'm going to have the mechanic do a grease job on the bottom and, you know, make sure everything's okay. Um, and another thing, <laughs> which is my big problem, as you can tell my mess, <laughs> uh, spring cleaning. Oh boy, spring is coming. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, the more I get rid of, the more I've got. 
and it isn't because I go get more. It's that I haven't gotten rid of enough. <laughs> wow. I'm glad I don't have everything I have in storage in here because I wouldn't have room otherwise, not even to drive. Um, and I'll tell you another thing. If, it would be good if you had somebody that went with you. Um, a spouse, a partner, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, whatever. But because, you know, sometimes when we're traveling, we get so tired. I mean, driving around long distance can be very, it beats your body up. You really get tired and you really need someone to alternate the driving with. Because it is dangerous if you're very tired because you're not, you don't react as quickly when you're really tired as you do otherwise. So, um... That is one thing for sure that we have to do. Another thing that I do is to make sure I've got enough propane before I go anywhere. Like Friday, I'm going to go to Ace and I'm going to have my propane bottle filled. I want to make sure I have enough propane in that bottle to be able to carry me on through the next several weeks. Um, I don't use it that much, but I want to make sure that I have everything I need. And also, um, it, it, you know, I fill my little bottles. And there are some things that I have a little round grill that's propane. And I use my bottles on them, my little bottles, my little green bottles. So make sure, you know, that you have everything you need before you go to your next destination. I always stop and buy my food before I go, which I will probably do that either Friday or Saturday. Um, I got to do my laundry, make sure all my laundry is clean, um, so it's a fresh start, you know. And I do have laundry. I got a bag full, not a big bag, but it's still. Let's get it over and done with. My sheets and my blankets need to be washed because I have little critters that sleep with me, and they have body odor. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm, which I acquire after a while. Um, and another thing, which I have not done very well, but I'm going to start doing, because I'm going to look for items that I can incorporate in here to be able to, like shelves and like that, so I can have a place for everything. I know where my clothes go. I have a place for my clothes. I have a place for my meds. But there's other things that I don't have a place for. And I want to make sure I've got that taken care of. Um, it's so much easier for you if you have a place for everything. It would be so much easier. Also, um, <laughs> okay, this is something that I totally agree with. And that is that in with the new and out with the old. You buy something, you get rid of something. You don't add to it, you get, always make sure you get rid of something. I've had a lot of difficulties in that. And I have got to work on it even more diligently. But that is something that we should really remember to do is in with the new and out with the old. Get rid of those things that you really don't need because why would you buy more? And another thing, okay, being flexible. <laughs> things, they don't always come out the way we plan it, okay? You might plan to do something, okay, like say you might plan to go to a national forest. Uh, now I understand in Florida, too, you're having some problems like that. And all your plans are to go there. But when you get there, you find out 
that they're closed, that you, temporary, but that they're, they're closed, or their policies have changed. Um, their rules, they don't allow this or that, you know. Be flexible. Plan more than one place on your journey. Not just one, but plan at least two places. Just in case one is not available and things have changed there, you've got another. And also, call ahead. If there's a phone number, call ahead. If there isn't, do some research on it. Find out what's going on there now. Not a year ago, like a lot of these websites will give you uh, directions to go somewhere, but doesn't really tell you what's going on now. Some of those directions and some of those uh, reviews are several years old. Hey, that was yesterday, not today. So be flexible. Be, be very flexible in your plans. And always expect the unexpected. <laughs> Definitely do that because... Just when I plan to do something, something comes up, and that changes my plans. And, <laughs> oh, that happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so always expect the unexpected. Love you all. Hugs and peace.